everybody. We got to NYC yesterday, but I had to do a little bit of work and then we took a nap and then it was seven something. I woke up and showered and we went to a place called, what was it called? Uh, the, the Smith. The Smith. And we just got a couple appetizers and then we went to bed. But today is the day. We're gonna go seize the day, do a little shopping. Um, you want a little apartment tour first? It's a little messy in here. We just got done showering, but we've got this little bathroom. Super cute. It's kind of small, but this is what's expected in New York City. The shower's got a little graffiti on it. Okay. It's a little mirror. This is the bed. The view's not too shabby. You can see from out our window. I really like those little condos over there. Super cute. They got balconies. These ones too. They have little balconies. We're at a hotel called Moxie. We got here yesterday. It's in East Village. It's super cute and trendy. The inside, like the elevator is fully mirrored. It's got a vibe to it. It's got those like um, neon signs. We're gonna go to breakfast at a place called Ruby's or Rudy's? Ruby's. Ruby's and uh, we'll see you there. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. While you're here, stick around because I need to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video. Sponsor of today's video is Dossier. Dossier sent me two perfumes. One is called Fruity Honey, one is called Floral Pear. I haven't been using the Floral Pear so much just because the Fruity Honey I am literally obsessed with. I've been using one type of perfume for quite some time now and it's not cheap. It's $130, I think. When Dossier reached out to me and sent me these perfumes and I tried this one, the Fruity Honey, I was not only floored because the price point is so low, but I was especially shocked because it lasts the same amount of time as this $130 perfume I've been using forever. Typically, when you pay a price point like Dossier is, you're getting sort of more like a body spray, a body mist, if you will, right? And the body mist doesn't last very long. I like a smell where when you get out of the shower and you spray yourself, it just smells, you smell like fresh and clean and like good. For the floral pear, I need to remember what this one smells like because I only spritzed it one time when I first got it. See, that's good, but it has a little bit more of a masculine vibe to it, like feminine, but still a little bit of a masculine vibe to it. This one is like very clean, very fresh, very just good. If you can't tell, I love it. There are perfumes for women, men, and unisex, and there are tons of different types. I know with perfumes, it's more ideal to smell it before you purchase it. And so Dossier has a risk-free guarantee on your perfume orders. All orders are refundable within 30 days. So if you don't like it, return it and try a new one. If you would like to try Dossier, please use my discount code. Not only are their products affordable, but they also give you a discount code so you can get even further of a percentage off. We love saving money. My code is SHAYCLICK10. So visit D-O-S-S-I-E-R dot C-O. Let me know how you like it. Okay, back to the video. at the breakfast joint. I got this blue latte, really fire. We took some Instagrammable photos, especially this one in particular. Very proud of that one. She's not excited about it, but I love it. shopping at Free People. I went to Whole Foods. I got a little water. It is hot as fuck out. I got myself a little slice of pizza here. I'm gonna enjoy that real quick. And I spent a little bit too much money, but for me, whenever I find something that fits phenomenally, I buy one of every color. So I'm gonna do a very quick haul for you guys because there's a lot of just the same item in different colors but let me eat my pizza first. So there's a gay street fair today outside of my room. 
literally at the end of the block. So I didn't realize that when I decided to go shopping that I was gonna have to walk through a crazy crowd. I mean, this crowd is intense. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I got super claustrophobic and it sucks that we're in these times, but. And two of my friends want me to go to the to the event with them. This pizza is phenomenal. Wow. I've been trying to eat on the healthy side because I feel better when I'm eating healthy and it's hot as shit out. If I eat like fried chicken and stuff like that, I don't feel as, I just feel like way down and greasy. I mean, I feel pretty greasy right now because it's hot as shit out and I was sweating, but. I tried to take the roads that were blocked off by a building because some buildings, you know, the sun is shining, so you have no choice but to bake in the sun. So I tried to go on the streets that I knew were were shaded when I had walked to the clothing store. So I didn't sweat too much. But you ever like walk past a crowd of people and they're sweating really badly because it's hot out? That makes me sweat, just looking at people. It makes me hotter than I probably actually would be. Can anybody relate? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, let's go through everything I got here. It's no secret that when I shop, I turn manic almost. It's like I decide I'm gonna go into a store and then I, I'm like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll buy a few things. And what happened when I walked into Free People was I found these cute sunglasses. I was on the first floor. I found a, a few things that I thought were kind of cute, but I was like, you know what? I don't really need it. I don't really want it that bad. And then after I paid, I realized they had it downstairs. And when I went downstairs, that's when the debauchery happened. Anyways, these are the first things that I got. These sunglasses, I don't have any. And if I'm gonna be going out in the sun today, you better believe I'm gonna need some sunnies. These are 25 bucks. Now, I got one of every color that I could in these. I am five foot three, 110 to 15 pounds soaking wet, depending on the week and how much I eat. So just to get an idea, they, the material is so freaking cute and it kind of has this like, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's more of like a washed out look to it. Um, these are 70 bucks a piece. I got this this blue, I got this blue, which I like the most. See that washed out look, you can tell more in this color. So freaking cute. Then I got these gray ones. I don't even typically wear this color, but I thought it was so cute. There's a little bit of a scuffy on there, so I need to take them back tomorrow and get a pair that doesn't have all of the, like, it almost looks like when you're at the, when you're at a pool or something and you sit on the concrete part of the pool and then it gets all like, you know what I mean? On the bathing suit bottom, and it gets kind of like, you know, the material kind of roughs up a little bit. That's what those look like. I didn't see that. And then I got these orange pair. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of this color in my life. And then I found one pair of shorts that fit. Unfortunately, there were probably five or six different pairs of shorts, but they didn't have my size in any of them. I guess my size is a popular size. But I found these um, light jean shorts and I tried them on in a 24 and they were too big. And then I tried these on in a 24 and they fit. And typically I'm a 25 or a 26. So I don't know what free people's deal is, but these are a 24, they fit. I didn't realize they were $68 until I just now, but very cute. They fit, on, they, they fit very well. Ow, is the lighting getting weird in here? I'm sorry, the sun's coming up a bit. Let's try to fix that. Hopefully that's better. I got this, this green one, the color, there we go. And then after I tried that on, I loved it so much that of course I had to get the black and I also had to get the cream. They had a couple of other colors, but they didn't have my size. Luckily they didn't have my size. Sometimes I'm happy when, when places don't have my size after I start picking out a bunch of things because it's like, Shit, you need to chill out. And then they, it forces me to chill out because they don't have my size. Now these colors I freaking love, especially this one. And this has that washed out look too. Kind of has this little design here, which I'm not super excited about, but I think it's still a very cute pair of leggings. And it came with this. Well, it doesn't come with it. You gotta buy it separately. Now these I got in a medium large. If you have larger breasts like me, I mean, they're not huge, but they're not small either. I would recommend a medium large if you are my frame. If you have small, small breast to seize, you would be fine with the extra small, small. I got this blue color. It's 
almost like a bluish purple. And then I got this kind of pinkish brown color. I got this cream color. These pants, it took everything in me to spend $108 on them and they're an extra small, but they were so freaking cool. They've got that like, kind of like saggy crotch look to them and they're sweatpants. Never thought I would like a saggy crotch pant, but here we are.